what does a uh, what does the knife what does a knife handing bins mean for the community then? It's an opportunity to dispose of knives locally without having to travel and run the risk of prosecution for being stopped and searched and, and uh, the potential for prosecution. So the, the more local we can make it, the safer we can make it, uh, and uh, the risks are lower. And this is becoming one of, is it? 12. One of, one of 12, 12 things. So we've funded seven so far. Yeah. Uh, this particular bin in Aldridge was uh, funded by a donation from Vesta Space, um, and they're a local uh, organisation. And we're getting funding from other local organisations and the local authority uh, to fund the bins. Yeah. And it's sort of like a, it's sort of, to, to me, it seems like a sort of big show of force that so many groups are joining in to put money towards these bins and to get more bins rolled out in the area. Well, we we've had nothing but um, good conversations with everybody about what the impact of these bins will be. It's not just about the bin; it's about the foundation reaching out to communities and building relations with communities so that we can understand what's going on locally in those communities so that we can provide the services they need that are specific to their area and that you know that's that's what it, it, it's all about it's a wasted opportunity just to have a bin isn't it let's make it a community thing uh, and have those conversations and those relationships. And this is the idea behind the foundation, sort of like the, the, the idea of the re-education behind the bins as well, is that you bring the education about knife crime into your schools. Well, yeah, I mean, it, knife crime is a symptom of the underlying disease, and the, the underlying disease of serious youth violence is, that is caused by radicalisation, prejudice, gang culture, poor family functioning, uh, drug misuse, exploitation, all those issues are what causes young people to resort to violence. And we know that violence is not inevitable and it is preventable and it's predictable. So if we have all those elements, we've got the solutions in the James Brindley Full Circle programme and that's what we're that's what we're using to tackle. So what this means, very straightforwardly, is that uh, local people who might have got a knife, might now regret having made that decision, can actually get rid of it, putting it very bluntly. Now, why that's so important is that my belief is often people uh, take a knife and probably reflect, regret having done that, but want to lose it safely. And so this is now the opportunity to do exactly that. But of course, it goes alongside the education piece of it. It's not just a sort of physical thing, it's about education. It's about getting young people predominantly to reflect and say, do I want to go this way? And when you hear the story of the family, that makes it oh, oh, oh so personal to really stop people in their tracks and say, no, this isn't right. And this is the, this is the real poignant idea of getting victims Correct. and those affected by knife crime into school to tell their story. Absolutely so, because it's this classic thing. You have to think, I could be in the, in the position of that. Um, I could be in the position of that victim. I, and therefore, is that the right thing for any young person? to actually contribute to. My view is when young people are asked to think about that, they will come to the answer, no. Do, do councils and government bodies need to do more to help local initiatives like these nice things? Well, I think it's actually very poignant that it should be done by um, a, uh, a group, um, who, a, a family who've suffered themselves. It's actually, you might even argue, more effective to do it in that way because it gets people to think about it personally. But let's be clear, there is funding for what we call the West Midlands Violence Reduction Partnership. It works between the Police and Crime Commissioner and the combined authority and the whole sort of education piece to get people to have appropriate interventions to turn away from knife crime. So there is funding at a senior level, but I actually think ultimately it is a good thing that the local community organisation have their name on this because that makes it much, much more personal.